Yes, well, greetings, welcome back. As you saw yesterday, bumper came off, uh, Adam changed the headlights, and um, yeah, different environment today, not in a workshop, in my dining room. Um, because I've been working away, do you remember this part I showed you yesterday? So Scott McKenzie, shout out to Scott McKenzie, uh, he 3D printed me the part, but as he did say, and obviously we're matching it to what's left of my bumper, I've had to take away small items using an array of torture weapons that Liam Neeson wasn't using at the time. So I'm gonna, I've sanded this down to an inch of its life. I've left a bit on the bottom, so I've got a bit to bond to, and then there's a bit of the bumper remaining. So if you see when this comes in, it should slot somewhere in around here. I don't know if it, it might not go, might not hold because I haven't clamped it, but oh no, there you go. So that's roughly how that's gonna go and sit um, in the bumper. You can see it compared to the other ones. This one's also broken. So I'm gonna to have to clamp sort of down here and then I plan to glue it. And uh, yeah, what I thought I'd do, just to kind of give it some reinforcement, that is off of a coat hanger, a metal coat hanger, so I've clipped it short. And then the idea is, because these are sort of hollow fin, I can place that in there, like so, and end up with this lovely little hot dog. And then I'll glue the top and bottom and it'll just give it a bit of um, added strength sort of side to side and a bit of, uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of the plan. Uh, it's about half eight, standard me, and it goes to wrap tomorrow. I've got to be, have this car ready for um yeah tomorrow morning really so wish me luck but yeah i'll cut to some bits and then um oh, i've got to drill this out because that broke but that's neither there here nor there so there you go thanks scott mckenzie 3d printed me a part saved me 500 quid for a new bumper and i just sand it down and i'm gonna glue it in how hard could it be that that's the other ones that's the one that's holding in there and glued so now it's got to drill this little bugger out which snapped off which last bit in holder which is fun um, and then, yeah, off to wrap. So, I suppose cut to me and Stu driving to Endless Customs tomorrow, but that's it. That's the last piece of the puzzle kind of done, so it can go off, be wrapped, and then I can show it to you. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Move. Jesus. Right, hello. Uh, mayhem as ever, chaos. Uh, you join me, I've got the window down, really sorry about if there's audio problems, but it's a thousand degrees in Boris at the moment. Uh, Boris at boiling point, a bit like our own Boris, but there we go. Uh, the brakes are crap, I forgot about those. Oh god, what was that noise? Something fell over. Oh god, the traffic. Yeah, Friday, Friday at like five. It's crap everywhere, isn't it? Um, yeah, so... <sighs> Okay, relax. Where was I? So, welcome back to Sleeker Files, part whatever this is. I'll, I'll just put a number over my mouth now, because I don't know. Um, I think six? Anyway, so we finally got the car sorted for Endless Customs. They've agreed to do the wrap. Um, we had a few technical issues. We've ironed them out. Um, shit happens, man, just shit happens. Um, you know, we, we always have motor relics. We try to well, handbrake was on. Uh, we try to give you like a realistic, you know, outlook. Sometimes things don't go to plan. Um, Owen's MR2, that was meant to be done months ago. We were actually going to use that at BHP. That's still not even got an engine in it. Uh, Stu's Leon, the gearbox still isn't sorted on that. So, yeah, shit happens. So, basically, what happened to the sleeker? Why was I bigging it up, bigging it up, bigging it up, putting it on socials? It's going to be a BHP show, it's going to be a BHP show, and that didn't happen. Well, Basically, what happened is um, the company I'm using, Endless Customs, they've been they've been really good actually. They've been trying to help out where they can and making sure I'm happy. Essentially, what happened is the artwork I want on the car is proving very difficult to track down. Um, you'll probably they'll probably make more sense to me as you see it finished because uh, hopefully you guys like it and you know it'll be cool. But anyway, so the artwork they thought they bought a good copy of it and then they went to use it and it distorted they blew it up uh, to make it fit for the car started to distort they rung me up they, they then rang 30 other companies or so other wrapping companies they're aware of other art um suppliers to try and get a better wrap it didn't happen so bhp didn't happen as you're aware because it's june the 
ninth, probably. I don't know. And now I've got heartburn because I'm old. So I'm now up to Endless Customs, uh, driving up there. Toyota's on the back of Boris because hasn't got a front bumper, hasn't got uh, side skirts, hasn't got a spoiler. It looks like something out of Mad Max. Um, I don't know if I've even got any video. I might be able to put some video in here. If not, it'll be stills. Stills will be happening now. Um, I'm just so pumped. I'm absolutely pumped because this has been going around in my head now since like February. Oh God, I gotta go easy on that. The Toyota's getting whopped around. Uh, yeah, but it's been in my head for such a long time. I kind of need it out. I need it to happen. So, uh, so super excited that today is the first step in that. Uh, I think they're gonna have the car for like 10 days because obviously the they've not got the um, the time to put two L's it as it was before, it was like four days. But now they're doing the job around other jobs because it was delayed, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, here we go. This is happening now. Uh, I'm on my way there. Next time I'll check in with you, I'll probably be unloading the car at Endless and it'll all be going fine, I'm sure. Not at all chaotic like Motor Addicts always is. It's so hot in here. Heat cooling. Go on, Boris. That was nearly 50 then. Check you out. If anyone wondering, that's 50 now. I don't think you would do very well in a V-Box test, would he, Rob? That's Rob from... Uh... Not from a V-Box. From something motorsport that will come to me motorsport something motorsport oh god uh, don't know talk to the guy every other week V-Box is the product I even follow him on Instagram. Hello, like Rob. Uh, it's clearly not enough to remember the company he works for. It's definitely something most for. If you know, you're probably screaming at me. Still would know. Owen wouldn't know. Owen barely knows it's Friday today. We're here at Endless Customs. As you can see, the Sleeker GT4 is finally in here and Cheeky M3 behind me is getting a wrap, but behind me is Jimmy and Lily. Say hello. Hello. So I've been talking to Jimmy for on and off, he must be sick of me for about four months now, um, trying to tweak these final designs, but I can't wait because we're finally here. I've actually got the design in the boot, but I'm not going to show you just yet. I'm going to tease it a little bit longer. So if you've just scanned to the end of the video, you missed all this bit, you missed all the good bit. So Jimmy's going to keep me updated as and when the car gets further wrapped and a bit more progress, but I'd like to say, First of all, thank you for putting up with me. I'm not easy to be put up with. And also a shout out to Ray. Um, if you're watching this, thanks for getting involved and getting the graphics done. So it looks awesome. So yeah, I look forward to catching up with you guys in about 10 days. 10 days. 10 days time. Make it out in the distance. Um, Cause today is the day. You joined me exactly 10 days from where you last saw me. And uh, yeah, we're gonna pick up my Toyota. So I've been told to give him a call. I can see Jimmy from here. I'm going to give him a wave to say I'm here and then I'm going to go from there. So yeah, exciting times. Um, let's get to the reveal. So as you've probably seen, this has been a long time coming. We've been talking, me and Jimmy, since back in February, I think. And today's finally the day. We're back at Endless Customs and I can't wait to unveil this Sleeker GT4. I've had it seven years and this is by far the maddest thing I've ever done with it. And I've entrusted Endless Customs and by all accounts, they've smashed it out of the park. So. Without further ado, I think you guys want to see it as well. So let's just get, let's just get this thing on the show. So let's, uh, let's unveil it. Okay, three, two, one, let's see it. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. You've absolutely, that's incredible. That's incredible. That's so much better than I thought that was going to look. Oh my God. <laughs> That's sick. Wow. I'm actually shake I'm actually physically shaking. <laughs> That's crazy. Mate, Jimmy, get over here now. Mate, you've absolutely nailed that. Happy? 
I couldn't be more happy. I'm actually shaking with how good that looks. Mate, <laughs> that's so good. Okay, right. So you've obviously seen me react to it. I'm gonna get some B-roll shots in here and we'll, we'll get some conversation with Jimmy. But there's two guys on the channel you might know, Trudel D and Trudel Dumb. They've been on my case as well, they wanna see it. So I'm gonna take this down to a rallycross circuit near us in Dover and I'm gonna show it to them there and I'm gonna show it to you guys there as well. But for me, they smashed this. They've knocked this out of the park. It looks so much better than I thought it was gonna do and I already had my expectations set so high. Thank you so much. Endless oh, Customs, well. they get it done. So yeah, we're here to see the reveal for Nick's Toyota Celica. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen it, have you? Mm -mm. And I'm, I'm well keen to see what it's going to be like. I want to see what it's like, but yeah. I'm not sure mm. I'll be totally happy with it because... No, I don't know. I like the idea of it. I think it's well out of the ballpark for Nick. I think for Nick, it's a real bold move. Not saying you're boring, Nick, when you look at this back. Uh, you're not, but it's out there. Um, and I think everyone else is going to like it because it's quite extreme. It's rad, and I've never seen another one. In fact, you probably haven't seen another one. Mm. Uh, but we're here. Anyway, Waiting. deepest, darkest Kent on a farm of all no, places. No, I'm just going to put that there because... Put it, on the, put it on the daily. I don't even know if we'd be in focus. Well, you're in it. Yeah, well that's good, isn't it? Are you going first? I'll go first. Right. Zip up. If I hurt myself, I'm blaming Nick. Right. Hang on. I, am, I can already feel myself getting hurt here. Right. How'd you start a car? I don't know. Just... What was that like? I bet I looked like Bruce Lee, right. didn't I? Come here, go on. Right, you ready? This is a good one. Slim Jim over there. Here we go. That was better than mine! That was better than mine! Fat man, that was, man. Do you know what? That was quite impressive. You're not fat anymore. Look, I, I hurt my neck. I hurt my neck. Ha 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 Look at that, ladies and gents! <laughs> look yeah. at that! Do you know that looks better than I thought it would look by a long shot? Don't it though? Nick, how happy are you with this? Very happy. Mate, look at it. Oh here, oh, here we go. Honestly, Tom. I thought it was going to be bad. Right. And it's not as bad as I thought it was. Oh, that's, that's positive. That's the best you're going to get out of that's, him. That's the best. Yeah. That's basically anyone else saying I'm I freaking love it. I'm not saying it's good, and I would have done it, because it's a bit out there, especially for you, the man of sensible. Okay. So if you don't know why I've done this, then you need to go back to 2018, when Toyota released the Supra Mark V, which was controversial, to say the least. And they did this wrap. Here we go. The A90 was, of course, the build series, or the model number. Um, yeah, and that's when my little head started going, oh, I wonder if you could do that with an old car and drag it modern. So if Toyota to release this car now, how would they do it? Well, they would have a press car. Yeah. Hello. Uh -huh. And they would do it in this wrap, because most companies, as I'll put up here and here, do really crap prototype kind of wraps. Loads of really random digital swirls or cover up stuff. But Toyota went one step further and made their own, and I think that's kind of cool. So, in keeping with that, I've done gloss black mirrors, which you'd see on the Yaris nice. GR. Uh, nice little touch. Gloss black infills. Um, and then, of course, the kooky lights, the projector headlights. That's, oh, yeah, that's a basic option. Hey, nice number plate. Where'd you get that, Nick? Hey, Reg Plate King. They Reg Plate out, King, they? yes, wallop in the house. Look at, but look at it, though, in this setting. Ooh. Well, we need to get it in front of these crates on the dirt. Do some donuts, wreck it. No, don't. Yeah, that's it. Do Destroy it. it all. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so front to back, that's where it was at. You know the song. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank. So, first of all, the first company we got involved with was Sheer Speed. Yeah. Um, Sheer Speed Customs over in Stu's favourite place. Where was it? Sheerness. There you go. Um, so, they did obviously the bodywork to make sure, at least when it gets wrapped, it doesn't look too rough. So, shout out to them. They did a great job of getting it prepped. Um, then we moved to GT4 Play, who sent me out some wheels. Uh, these are obviously period like 90s. Um, these are rotors. I think they're TH16s. They're a 17 inch, so they're sort of period. But they go on anything. They go on Cosworths, don't they, Stu? You love them on Cosworths? I love them on a Cosworth. Um, yeah, so they go on everything. They're a kind of roulette style Oz racing. 
Um, yeah, and then I want to move to Auto Prep, Rick's place. Rick's place, place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who did all the gloss touches, took it all back. He even said, yeah, yeah, I'll do that for you, no problems. And then actually saw him and was like, thanks for stitching me up. So thanks to Rick who actually pulled through and was like, you know what? I'm not even making money on these, but I'm gonna do them for you. And obviously they're piano black, so can't wait to scratch them. <laughs> it, will, it will happen. It will happen, absolutely happen. And then of course, we move to our sponsors, Red Plate King. What would be a car without a gel plate? So thanks to the guys there. Um, I'm trying to it's think of gloss this. black, it's so Piano nice. Black, man. It's You've so nice. It. Rick's done it, hasn't he? Rick so has good. smashed that out of the park. Oh, and a shout out to Ray at Wrench, Wrench Studios. If he's yeah. watching, thanks for designing it, because we had a bit of a back and forth, as you can imagine, super fussy. So yeah, thanks to um, Endless, who did the entire wrap in like nine days. So, because I was like, get it done, get it done, get it done. Obviously we missed the first deadline, so. That's amazing. You said that Ray was, he, he put up with you basically, but he's, he's, he's You've attention. You've put up with me this long. Well, yeah. no, no. So well, he's, just, he, barely actually. You said, I remember you saying that he, uh, he you were very, to, very particular yeah, and yeah. he was, he, he met the, 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 the standards. What's always tricky with these kind of stuff is when you have source material. Mm. So I already had the wrap as I showed you earlier. So I was like, right, make it to this please. So yeah, that was Fair that. play, yeah, fair yeah. play. I mean, it looks stunning. I think there's looks some amazing. still, there's some little bits that need kind of adjusting as it settles in, like this piece. But we'll get round to that. <laughs> so yeah, overall, very happy with it. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching it and following the journey. And let's get it out now Nick, to some what shows. what have got left to do? What's left to do on this car? You've got, there's a couple of bits we were talking about a minute Exhaust ago. is well farty. It's got a crack in the mid box. I uh, want to space the rears out 10 mil probably, just to just sit flush with the front. Um, enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Enjoy That's it, about it really. It's looked like a sack of shit for years. Exactly. And I've there you go. Wow, straight in. I've yeah. never had a car that I can be. We'll go this side because the road. I've never had a car where I can actually be like quite proud of it. And obviously, you know, this is it now. So yeah, it is a Just real uh, centerpiece. It's quite a statement, I suppose. Yes. Um, for me. But I, I hopefully the guys who are watching this who are sleeker owners know that it's like from a Toyota place. Everyone does the Castrol rep. If, if yeah, you're commenting yeah. below going, why don't you just get the Castrol rep done? Because you've already seen it. It's been done to death. Yeah. And it's good. To, I mean, it, it would have been nice to do it, the, the paint it the red that it was. Great. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. another way to do Which it. Which is probably the long term plan still. Probably long term because these are coming up in value. Um, even a ropey one like this, probably five, six grand now. So in this condition, close to eight. But yeah, if once I get to like 15, it would be nice to get it looking sort of almost OEM plus. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, such a blingo. Like, comment, subscribe. There we go. <laughs> See you next time. Thanks so much.